late in the fall, a lot of people get nervous because there's a lot of loud, annoying wolverines that just make you nervous, bother you. If you're worried about those guys, just move your family out to Pasadena for a month and you'll be fine. You'll never have to deal with them. So. All right. Uh, offensive line. Obviously, I coach that. We're trying to rebuild that offensive line. We lost some great players there. The starting point for that rebuilding job is Taylor Decker, who we moved over to left tackle. And uh, Taylor will do a great job for us there. And he's getting comfortable on that left side and trying to take over a role of, of a leader that Jack Muhort held. Pat Elfline played well for us in the last couple games of the season. The team up north game and the MSU game, he did a great job when he played. And, uh, we see great things out of him. And then we have some other faces in there that are going to have to step up and develop. We're working with some guys. Daryl Baldwin is right now the lead guy at the right tackle position. Daryl's doing a solid job learning that position and getting comfortable there. We moved Joel Hale over from the defensive side in the offseason, and uh, Joel's playing some at left guard with Tony Underwood, Evan Lyles, a, a new face that. Uh, you know, redshirted last year. He and Billy Price were two guys we signed last year that redshirted from the state of Ohio. Billy's playing center, Evan Lyle's playing guard. Um, so we got some depth and just having to work those guys through, get them comfortable, get them confident, and I'm confident that when the time comes on August 30th and we play Navy, we'll have a solid group that will perform there. Um, you know, the thing that's been exciting, though, is just we have some guys out. We don't have Braxton Miller, we don't have Jeff Hireman, we don't have Evan Spencer in the spring. So we have to ask other people to step up and do the, those jobs. So we're getting a chance to look at some other people, develop leaders, see who can be playmakers outside of those guys. We know those guys are playmakers for us and Coach has already commented on the job that a lot of those guys are doing and it's exciting to watch that growth and development. We have the same offensive staff intact so our offensive staff is real comfortable and we are all on the same page on how to progress our offense and diversify it. And like we said, we have to find alternative ways to move the football outside of just let the big boys go eat up front, hand the ball to Carlos Hyde and go. We we're diversifying our offense, which is good for us. And again, experimenting with who could be playmakers outside of those guys that aren't with us in the spring. So with that being said, spring ball, you know, we've got a uh, week and a half to finish up here. We've got a lot of things to accomplish, and uh, it's going in a positive direction. But I want to bring up some offensive players, some offensive players that are here. Could you guys come on up front, please? I heard they also lost some playbooks up north. The team up north, I heard that someone broke in and stole some playbooks, and I heard Brady was really upset because he hadn't finished coloring them. <laughs> Come on up here, you guys have a seat. Please don't put that on Twitter, I know. I've got such a place. Just for the brevity of the moment. All right, so looks like we got three offensive linemen and our rookie, Johnny. All right, well, we'll start with Joel Hale. So uh, Joel's moved over from the defensive side and uh, the great thing about Joel, he is a high energy, he is our culture. Four to six, A to B, everything you want in a player in terms of attitude, effort, and commitment. So uh, I want Joel to just give you a quick synopsis of what it's been like for him, this transition from the defensive line to the offensive line. Um, how's everybody doing? <laughs> uh, the transition's been great. Uh, you know, towards the end of the season, I felt that I had plateaued on the other side of the ball, and I feel that the move has really uh, energized my love for football. And, you know, I'm beginning to learn new things, and, um, you know, learning the offense is great. I met a new group of guys that, you know, I knew, but I really didn't, like, know them personally. And, uh, you know, it's just really expanded my, my love for this team and the love for the Buckeyes. So if you come out to practice at the spring game, you'll see Joel there playing left guard, and uh, he goes hard now. So we just have to clean up some of his technique, and as he gets more comfortable with 
his assignments, he's going to help us this fall. Uh, next, I want to go to uh, Daryl Baldwin. Daryl's from Solon, Ohio, and uh, transitioned a couple years ago from the D-line over to the O-line. So here's another transition guy. Um, Daryl's right now at the lead spot at right tackle as we move Taylor over to left. So, uh, Daryl, just tell us what's the biggest challenge we face on the offensive line as we uh, transition with four new starters, you being one of them, possibly. Um, i just say the biggest challenge right now we face on the offensive line is leadership because those guys that just left, Jack Muhor, Corey Lindsley, they're not only leaders on the offensive line, <laughs> leaders on the whole team. So we have to find people to replace that and uh, just play, just starting to play because um, most of the guys replacing them don't have very much experience. So once we get that going, we'll be all right. Thanks, Daryl. All right, we'll go to uh, Johnny Dixon, like Coach said, from South Florida. Exciting to have him out there every day. He can run, plays so hard, and fits right in our culture. So, Johnny, um, what's been your biggest adjustment? I mean, moving to Columbus, Ohio, Ohio State football, you know, just kind of tell us about your transition. Uh, well, my transition was the weather. I mean, <laughs> down in South Florida, it's pretty hot every day. So. <laughs> When I got up here, I got off the plane, Coach Smith, the first thing he said, how you doing with the weather? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> but um, I got adjusted to it um, very quick, so it's not a big, I mean, it's not a big deal for me now. I mean, a lot of people complain about it, but it's not even that bad. <laughs> so how is uh, learning the new offensive system, and are you enjoying being out there every day playing with your new teammates? Adjusting to the offense it was a little rough for me. It still is, but um, coach helped me out a lot. Um, getting adjusted uh, quicker than I was in the beginning. Um, and playing with a new guy is just is wonderful. I mean, going against the defense and playing with the offense is just another brotherhood for me and some guys that I'll be able to bond with long down the road. So it's just all, it's all great. Thanks. One of the things about Johnny, because our culture is four to six, as Coach said, A to B. Now this guy can go A to B. He got some wheels, so when he starts and where we tell him to go, sometimes it's not always where we want him to go, but he's going really fast. <laughs> so I know it's been a cold spring, but when you play with your hair on fire, it keeps you a little bit warmer, so he's, done, he's doing that for us. And then last we have up here, uh, the one returning starter we have on the offensive line, Taylor Decker. The good news is all the rest of the offensive players are in class right now, so you should feel good about that. These are the only four that weren't in class right now that we could get up here. So uh, Taylor, I want Taylor to talk about uh, his role as a, as a leader of this offense and how he's trying to help develop some continuity, some, some power of the unit, as we call it, within the room of the offensive line and uh, his transition over to left tackle. So, Taylor Decker's from uh, Vandalia, which is over by Dayton, so another Ohio guy. Thanks, Coach. Um, yeah, definitely with uh, last year's mostly, you know, I was the young guy, and uh, it's definitely been a transition uh, to being the veteran, essentially. And um, for me, personally, I had to, to develop a lot of consistency and uh, use my voice out there on the field. Because, you know, these guys are used to Jack out there, Corey out there, leading them, showing them the way. And uh, that was definitely different for me uh, coming into this spring. But I feel uh, definitely with the off-season training and everything and Coach Mick and uh, the coaches behind me, I'm beginning to develop that. But I still definitely have a long way to go because, uh, as Daryl touched on, you know, we need leaders. We lost a lot of our uh, important leaders. So I'm just trying to step up and fill that role. All right, thanks, Thank you very much. You guys are great. Thank you.